courses and Research Triangle Park are all that separate these bitter rivals. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Hampton's a guy you really have to game plan for if you're a defensive coach. And we sat down with the coaches this week, and they know, they look at him, they look at that offensive line, and they know they're in for a long day. Well, it's going to be a tough challenge for this defense. One thing that they, I think, have to do is commit numbers to the line of scrimmage. They've got to be able to be willing to take chances, put an eighth, sometimes ninth guy up close to the line of scrimmage and force his quarterback to try to have to beat them by throwing the ball through the air. Otherwise, it could be a long day for this defense. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Gives it right side. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. the 35 third down six to go ball on the 35 he rifles it huge play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellows up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw First down and goal to go. Three yards for the touchdown. Here comes the pressure. He's taken down at the two. This is the eighth play of this drive. left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. It's third and goal from the three, and this is a very big play for both teams. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Tackle at the 43 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. North Carolina is up a field goal. Quick pass. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. at the 26. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. at the 23-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. With a quick throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. Scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Touchdown, Tar Heels. The defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 58-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 10-0. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Dumps it out left to the running back. And they 
they hit him in the backfield. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 19. Steps up in the pocket. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out at about the 45. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 45. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Waters takes the give. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 49. Third down again. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a game 14 yards. First down. Brought down around the 26-yard line. Number 20 was the intended receiver on the play. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Again with the run. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. From the 21-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 23. It's the 11th play of the drive. Slings it. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. It's second and 10. Ball on the 15. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Five wide. Receivers got him on the screen, and he tackles him hard at the 14. Collins gains about a yard with a short completion. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The 
kick is up, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 41. The Tar Heels are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for him. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. North Carolina is up a score. He chucks it downfield. Can't make the grab. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. And the corner on the interception. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. to about the 45-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver and he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. He makes his way to about the 32. So at the end of one, the Tar Heels lead 10-3. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Inside the 10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. out and the ball is up for grabs. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. From their own 20-yard line, first down. North Carolina up seven points. 
Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. He's taken down at the 29. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 46. going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. This is the ninth play of this drive. North Carolina is up seven. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled at the 43. From the 43-yard line, first down. He gets to about the 34-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Steps out of bounds. McCollum gains six yards with a short completion. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. First and ten. Ball on the 28. He passes it. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. North Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. 
and they make the stop at about the 21. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 21. Here's a quick throw. Makes a grab and steps out right away. First down. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To review, to review the, the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. He's at midfield, makes it to the 44. Makes it to the 34. That's a deal of 10. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Let's go! He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 15-yard line, first down. Let's see if they can put that last interception behind them and do something different this time in the red zone. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Here's the eighth play of the series. That makes it third and seven. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. And it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Across the 30. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The Tar Heels offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line. First down. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. Has some daylight. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Bring him down at 
at the 35. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. They give to the tailback. Good outside run there. Hampton gains around six yards on the run. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Looks to the back and can't connect. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19. He scrambled. Tackle made right around the 16-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 16. North Carolina is up a score. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the two-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. able to defend the quarterback scramble and they give up six and he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line he'll pump fake then take off or he'll put his head down and crash it in anything goes with this guy he splits the uprights with the extra point a 10 play 66 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard brad i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass just an overall well executed touchdown drive this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback this offense is just going to be kicking themselves they're moving the ball very well in fact they're getting into their opponent's territory only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns they're having to settle for field goals that could eventually catch up to them they're ready to begin another drive here's the halfback on the screen and they hit him in the backfield Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 24. and they got it. We're halfway through and it's been a good one. North Carolina's lead is two touchdowns. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
It's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, David. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you they need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise out of them, knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you are at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taken down at the 19-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They come out on an empty backfield. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. pass and down he goes at the 39 yard line that'll be a two yard loss pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call third and five situation ball on their own 39 He passes it. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch two. Watch two. 
There he goes. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. off to the right runs outside for a nice game and this is the eighth play of the drive quick throw in the end zone touchdown give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 65-yard drive. And the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 36. First and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Ready. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled at the 38. forward to about the 40. It's third and seven. Ball on the 40. Flips it middle to the running back. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. That's a deep between the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. He's at the 30, and he's tackled right away. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First and 10. Give to the tailback. Nice run there. That's a D five on the play. That brings him second and five. From the 25-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fights forward to about the 16. A yard, maybe two on the carry. 
from the 16 yard line. Second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 10 yard line. 10th play of the drive. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. They're not done yet. And he adds the extra point. North Carolina State ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Oh, what a hit. North Carolina's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into the position and being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's level at the 30. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First and 10, ball on the 30. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. He's out of bounds. That's a loss. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 39. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They bring the quarterback down. And this one is a beauty. 
He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 32 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. That's three down and one to go. North Carolina is in front by 14. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Wants to throw outside. And got him! He scores! What a play! And he tacks on the extra point. as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 31. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he tackles him hard at the 35. Allen makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 35. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at about the 41. After a decent pickup. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first From their own 47 yard line. First down. And a quick throw. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. Number 28 brings him down to the 41 yard line. First down. They'll knock him down for a loss. He 
It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 45. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. He passes it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. And this play is number eight on the drive. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. It's caught, but they're not going to make it. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they got it. It's the senior corner who nails the quarterback for the sack. Nice call here, but they might want to wait a while before going back to it again. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's to the 40. Has it to the senior. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. the 31-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Johnson picks up about seven yards there, scrambling away from the pressure. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21.
Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He's out to the 30. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 32. First down. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 44. Harris with the tackle at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. From the 46-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 45. That makes it second and 10. Throws in a hurry. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Less than three minutes in the game. They'll drop in for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Here's the eighth play of the series. Great tackle at the 27-yard line. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Quick strike, and he drops it. A lot of teams will lose the intensity when the game's already been decided, but not these young men. Another good stop right there. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Makes it out to about the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. it out to about the 49. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. North Carolina. Up big. Nice run up the middle. And 
the ball game's over and our final score in this one North Carolina 41 North Carolina State 13. So what are your final thoughts on this one Kirk. Well this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.